What's up, my friends? It's your pal Keith here again, live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. And I've got an insane custom Gibson to share with you guys today. I saw it, I had to have it, I bought it, I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, this thing's totally nuts. If you're new to the channel, click like on the video, click subscribe. It's free, costs you nothing, and come join the circle of friends. There's about 1,500 of us already, and uh, we want to add some more to the family. What I do is I get crazy guitars like this from all around the world each and every day. They arrive at the studio. They join the stable. They're here for artists to use and record. We also put them up for sale. And uh, you can see them on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com, hosted by our good buddies, Reverb.com. And yeah, if you want to get in touch, you want to buy it, hit me up on there or on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com or uh, yeah, Facebook, Instagram, all Essex Recording Studios. That would be awesome. Now let's chat about this guitar, all right? So this is a Joker, uh, complete custom artwork, Les Paul. It's got all the ha-has, blood splatter. Uh, killer artwork. Nothing is uh, uh, cheesy or, or cheap about this. Someone spent a lot of time. Why so serious? You've got the color match Joker green and purple USA Spurzel custom locking tuners, which that's kind of my favorite. As great as the artwork is, I am loving these Joker tuners. It, it is killer. All right. And now we're going to flip it over for the big reveal for the front. Gold logo. Uh, I love the gold uh, tuning pegs. It is a CM, but it's just not any CM. It's all blacked out there. I love that. This one has been supercharged, turbocharged, turbo supercharged. It's got great artwork on the front. You see his hand there coming out of the sleeve. And then we've got these Seymour Duncan pickups are crazy. I can't remember what they're called. I had a Jackson Kelly uh, that had one. But they're nuts. You've got the toggle switch here, three-way. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Where are we? There we go. That way. It's going the wrong way. And you've got the little top hats. Me, personally, I think I would go for some green and purple uh, kind of uh, metal knobs. That's what I would do. Or I'd try and get one that maybe has uh, green font and purple font. I don't know. I'm just playing around with it. But whoever did this did a bang-up job. I mean, they did awesome. There's really nothing you can do to criticize. The strings are coated in some sort of black. The whole thing's... A little bit of the coating is gone there. I don't really know what that is. But it's done to a professional standard. There's a little bit of like orange peel in the lacquer. You can kind of see, you know, it, it's what you would expect on something that's been uh, refinished by an artist that wasn't done like in the factory. But it doesn't look bad. It there's zero people on this earth that are going to see this guitar and go, yeah, that sucks. That's not cool. It, it is great. This is not something that you went to like a local flea market and, and had some random guy on, on like the side of the street just go and paint this. You know, this wasn't a, a street performer, a serious artist that did this. Really, really cool. Show you the back again. I'm in love with this thing. I paid dear money for it. And it's going to be more than a Les Paul CM, obviously. You've got the tuners, you've got the pickup, and then you've got this insane artwork, you know. But it's not going to be as much as a, as a Les Paul standard. You're, you're looking at, I'm going to be selling this for somewhere around like what a, a new studio would go for. And it's totally worth that, guys. It sounds killer, it plays killer, and my God, does it look killer. This on stage would look insane. This hanging up on the wall just as a piece of functional art is awesome. I mean, if this is on your living room above your couch or something, people are going to freak out and they're going to love it. Or if it's on a stand next to your TV, you know, when you have guests come over, they're going to say, that is the coolest guitar we have ever seen. 
and have fun with it. You know, throw whatever pickup you want in there. If you're not the, a fan of the Dink, uh, the, the the Duncan, you know, replace the knobs if you want to get a little more creative with it. Uh, I don't, you know, tint the inlays if you want. Do whatever, guys. But I I would keep it just the way it is. It sounds great and it looks so cool. I fell in love with Jackson guitars because back in the day, Jackson were the guys that were doing graphics. And then people started to kind of copy them. And then now graphics have kind of fallen out of style a bit. But uh, we're seeing a resurgence in them, uh, especially from Jackson. A lot of the other companies are are putting graphics on like their, their cheaper guitars. Like Dean is, is using them a lot now and uh, BC Rich. And, you know, that's cool. But it is very difficult to get something like this and you never i mean gibson certainly doesn't do anything cool like this uh lately what they've been doing is the opposite of cool they've been doing some ridiculous stuff um i guess that's why they're going bankrupt but yeah the point is this is a special guitar and i can't wait to find out who uh, appreciates it as much as i do and I hope it goes to a really cool home or some Batman fanatic, Joker fanatic. They will love this thing. Cool. All right, guys. I am Audi 5000. It is like midnight on a Saturday. And your bro, Keith, needs some shut-eye. I need some sleep. All right. I'm going to Netflix and chill with the wife upstairs. I don't know what we're going to watch. But, uh... We were watching Amazing Interiors early, and I actually saw a house back in Florida that had furniture from my family's antique store in it. Totally insane to see that. We actually know the guys. But yeah, it's uh, it's TV time and sleep time for your buddy Keith. I am out. If you want to buy this bad boy, just hit us up on the website, EssexRecordingStudios.com or on Reverb.com. You'll see it up there. Just type Joker Gibson. It'll be the first thing that pops up. Um... That's it. Cool. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Drink a beer for me. I'm behaving myself and working out and dieting and fasting and getting slim. So I don't get to have any beers. All right. Later, guys. We'll see you soon. Stick around on the channel for uh, more guitar videos coming right up. And like I said, if you're new, click subscribe. We're going to be best mates. All right. Later.